I love doing test drive, but every now and again, it gets to be just a little bit special. On this edition of Test Drive, the Audi R8 V10. There is virtually nothing shared between the outgoing R8 and this all new model. Aside from the clean sheet look and the fact it's the most powerful road going Audi ever, it's the manner in which this car can be customized that's truly bewildering. Now that however is not to say it's overly complex. On the contrary, everything is readily mastered and for very good reason. The cabin of this R8 is exquisite. Superb materials, very comfortable front bucket seats and it's all about the driver. With the exception of these set and forget climate controls, everything is done through the steering wheel, just like Audi's Le Mans car. You start and stop the engine, plug in a destination into the navigation system, and you can answer a phone call. Very, very nice indeed, and it really does keep both hands on the wheel at all times. There is, however, a nit to pick. This car does not have blind spot monitoring. On a ride that costs over $200,000, well, that's simply unforgivable. The R8 is offered in two very different flavors. The base car arrives with a 5.2 liter V10 engine that pushes 540 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. To state the obvious, it's got power to spare. However, the plus really turns the wick up on that engine. Tweaking it sees it produce a mind-numbing 610 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. Not only is the power there for the driver to enjoy, so is the mellifluous exhaust tone. The burbling bark really does speak to the R8 its capability and ultimately its potency. So how fast is this R8 V10? Well if you goose the gas pedal from a standstill you go through 100k in 3.1 seconds. Stay with it and you warp through 200k in a little over 9 seconds. Then you've got to get ready for tunnel vision. This thing has got a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. All of that power reaches the road through a seven-speed twin-clutch gearbox that switches cogs with blindingly fast precision and an all-new version of Audi's Quattro system. The permanent all-wheel drive now uses an electro-hydraulic multi-plate clutch. It can send all of the power to the front wheels, all of it to the rear wheels, and pretty much anything in between the extremes. It also gets a limited slip rear differential. This and the monster tires give the R8 prodigious grip. It's basically impossible to put a wheel wrong. Perhaps the only other real shortcoming that's it for storage space. There is a little bit behind the front seats, but that's about it. The moral of the story, take the toothbrush, but you'll have to buy the toothpaste when you get there. Does it really matter? Not in the least. The R8 suspension is also right on the money, especially when the optional magnetic ride adaptive dampers are part of the package. In comfort mode, the suspension is remarkably compliant for such an athletic ride. Pick dynamic and any hint of body roll disappears. It devoured the pylon test quite like any other car. It was quick to respond without feeling twitchy and the steering was as keen as a brand new razor. The rest of the car, the engine, transmission, quattro exhaust and so on, can also be tweaked to bring the wild side to the fore. Just don't turn off the traction nanny. What is there to say about this Audi R8 V10? It's got truly tenacious handling, prodigious power, and it's got a cabin to die for. And by the way, this rear spoiler, it is functional as it adds about 100 kilograms of downforce when you're at speed. That's something you tend to do quite a lot of. And this thing really is like it's just out of a Hollywood script.